All right, so we're on the telephone right now with Courtney McCary Squires. And Courtney, welcome to Crazy Radio. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. I'm excited to talk to you. So we all know that there was unfortunately a fire started at the Dudley School after all that work that's been done. And sadly, it seems that fire mm-hmm. started under dubious conditions. But I understand mm-hmm. that there's people coming together to rectify that. What can you tell me about that? Yes. So this Sunday, um, February the 4th, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., the organization I'm involved with, it's known as With Many Hands, will be meeting at the Dudley School to help clean up some of the fire damage. We'll also be there with another organization called Community Power New Mexico, and then there'll be several other volunteers there as well. Now, I have not seen the damage personally. How bad is it? You know, it could have been worse. Um, When I went into the building and saw the damage, the first thing that I noticed was we had a huge piles of dry leaves sitting inside of that building that we're using for mulch at the community garden. And then we had a big stack of boxes that contained our raised beds. Well, the culprit who committed this arson actually poured gasoline over the raised beds and set all of those boxes on fire. The raised beds are actually steel, so they survived pretty well, although the the boxes were completely destroyed. But we were so thankful that none of the leaves caught on fire. So it's mostly a lot of soot and a lot of ash. There's some damage to the flooring of the kitchen area where our boxes were sitting. And then also they had started some small fires in the two individual bathrooms that are in there as well. And so there's some damage in the bathrooms. It is such a shame Mm -hmm. that someone would, I guess, find a thrill or pleasure in destroying a building that's over 100 years old. It is so historical and important to this community and basically spitting in the face of all the people that have spent the last several, I don't even know how long the projects have been going, months and months and months. All of that was just kind of spat on it. It it really angers me and and I'm sure it affects everybody the same way. If you had a chance to say something to the arsonist, what would you say right now? Just curious. Oh, goodness. I, that's not something I've thought about and I know On social media, when we originally um, made the announcement about what had happened, I was seeing a lot of people just posting, I don't understand why, how could someone do this? And so I definitely agree with you that the community was extremely upset by what had happened. And it was challenging for me to even find the words when I received the phone call. I really was just at a loss for words as I was being told what had happened. So I don't really know what I could say to the person. A part of me does wonder why would they do this? You know, the building has, they started working on the building about two years ago. So, and then this community garden campaign started about a year ago. And so it's been cumulatively several years that people have put in labor and time and care to do something to better our community, to make it a more beautiful place, a more resilient and enjoyable place to live. And so this act was, it is not understandable at all. And so I guess I would have the same question that most of the people in our community have is, I'm just wondering why. Yeah, I think that's a fair thing. But there is one Mm -hmm. thing about this town, and that is you can knock people down, but the people of this town will always get up, dust themselves off, and pick up where they left off. I'm not sure what it is, what the driving spirit is about this place, but that is the spirit of Alamogordo, and that's exactly what you guys are going to be doing Sunday at 2 o'clock, dusting yourselves off. Okay, let's undo what they did and then pick up where we left off, and I think it's just wonderful. Yes, definitely. As long as my family has lived here for about the last five and a half years, we've experienced the same thing, that People here are really resilient and encouraging, and it's been such a blessing to live in this community. And so we're going to go with that same spirit of resiliency and just keep on keeping on with the project, and we're not going to let this stop us or set us back. I find that very, very commendable. All right, so what do people need to bring with them when they show up on Sunday? I would say um, just make sure that you're wearing uh, attire that, you're okay with getting dirty. Like I said, there's a lot of ash and soot inside the Dudley School, so 
You'll want to make sure that you're fully covered. I would say wear jeans and probably a lightweight long sleeve shirt and closed toed shoes. We'll be washing down the walls. So um, if anyone has a couple buckets that we could borrow, that could be really helpful. And then maybe even some sponges and washcloths. All right. Well, Courtney, I thank you very much for spending a few moments with us. I know this is a difficult thing to have to undo what someone else's mischief did, but I think it's wonderful what you guys are doing, and I think the school is going to be still better than ever, and by the time this project is done, this will be long forgotten, I hope. Is there anything else you want to share with the people before I let you go? I just wanted to encourage the community. I know a lot of people were shocked by what had happened, as was I, and feeling upset and angered by it. And I know me personally, I try to operate in my day-to-day life, not from a place of anger, but from a place of love and encouragement and resiliency. And so I would just encourage people to operate from that place and don't let it get you discouraged because we still have plans to keep progressing and there will be plenty of opportunities for us to continue to grow Alamogordo into the city and community that we desire it to be. Work with Many Hands Work Day at the Dudley School Sunday. That's the 4th of February, this Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. Put on your work clothes, folks. Come on out. If you can spend an hour or two, I'm sure it'd be greatly appreciated. And there's work there that pretty much anyone can do. They, they'll, they'll find something free to do, I'm sure. Ain't that right, Courtney? Yes, <laughs> that's for sure. All right. Well, thank you very much for spending a few moments with me, and we will talk to you soon. Thank you, Anthony.